So you've completed your novel. Now what? I'm Josh Hayes, co-founder of Keystroke Medium, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create an ebook using your existing Word documents and importing them into Scrivener. Many people are intimidated by Scrivener. It's a big program. There's a lot to learn. A lot of people just like writing in Word. That's great. I still use Word. I use it to revise and I use it to edit. But when you're talking about creating ebook files, Word just doesn't have the power to do this effectively. In today's episode, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a professional looking ebook without having to be a Scrivener genius. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you learned something today, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about today's show or have any ideas for future episodes, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what we have here is a edited final version in Word that's been formatted in Word and um, we are going to take this and import it into Scrivener to format into an ebook. Now a lot of people don't like writing in Scrivener because it's just too much. So um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take your formatted Word document, bring it into Scrivener, and easily compile ebooks either in EPUB or Mobi, uh, PDF, whichever format you choose. Um, it, it takes just uh, a couple of minutes um, and you'll get a good product. Uh, so we're going to take this word, I'm going to close this out. just wanted to show you here, this is what it looks like in Word. And then we're going to start a new project in Scrivener. So we're going to choose Fiction, Novel, and this basically is the first window that pops up when you open Scrivener, unless you already have a project going. But for the sake of this video, this is a new project, so we're going to choose Novel. It'll ask you to name it, and we're going to say simple compile video and it's going to create the project this is how Scrivener looks on your screen I'll keep it just a little just so it fills up most of the screen here so you don't get overwhelmed by it a lot of this stuff um, you see a lot of things going on here we'll get into these uh, several different aspects of Scrivener in later videos. Today I just want to talk about this compile so we can get rid of most of this stuff. We can get the, rid of the inspector. This format uh, script is just basically a tutor tutorial. If you've never used Scrivener before, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the uh, scene in the chapter and we're going to go ahead and get rid of the chapter. So now we have a manuscript uh, section and we're going to say file import files and now wherever you have your file at, mine's on my desktop, you're going to click on your file and it's going to import that into your Scrivener document and it's going to be one document here and now you can see that it's uh, imported the entire Word document in one long page. Uh, we are going to separate these into separate pages for formatting so um, the easiest way to do this is to see where your pages are so this right here is going to be our title copyright page. Um, this is the dedication page and this is where chapter one would start. So what we're going to do is split these up into different pages. We're going to do this very easily. Uh, in your main Scrivener document, find um, the beginning of your next page or the, where you want to split it at. and you are going to right click and say split at selection. So you see up here that there are now two 
uh, documents and we're going to title this next one dedication because it's the dedication page and then we're going to do basically we're going to go through and do the same thing on every one of these headings uh, except now we're going to do it just a little different and when we split at the selection we are going to highlight this heading right click and instead of doing split at selection we'll do split with selection as a title so when you split it now you can see that the chapter heading is uh, in our binder and now we're just going to go through that and do that really quickly on uh, the rest of the book here so now we have um, a distinct set of pages here um, the only thing that we need to do uh, differently um, before we get into the compile is I do not want these spaces in the paragraph so we need to go to other and take this down to zero spacing after paragraph and that'll take that that space out so we'll go ahead and do this real quick take these spaces out okay now we have our text set up the way we want with no spaces in between the paragraphs and that's your personal preference you can set it up however you want now we need to move uh, we need to bring in our cover so we go to where our covers are at mine are very simple to find uh, and then we drag and drop that into front matter and now we have our cover so now comes the compile so when we compile for an ebook um, this is the compile window that shows all your options for the compile. You can do it for Word, you can do it for Final Draft, a screenplay. We're going to do for ebooks, and I'm going to do for Kindle, but this is basically the same thing for EPUB as well. So when you select Kindle, the only difference is you have to have this Kindle Gin installed. Uh, if you've never worked with Scrivener before, the first time you go into Scrivener to compile a Moby ebook, you'll have to get your Kindle Gen. There are several uh, videos out there that'll walk you through that process, but it's a very simple process. Uh, so if you haven't done that, uh, do that, and then you can continue on with the compile here. So we want to say these are the contents for our ebook title page. Um, actually we want to include that so uh, we're gonna do a page break before every section and we're gonna say as is for every section so instead of being one long continuous file we're gonna have a page break in between the chapters so now we have that set up we have our contents the way we want we're gonna to go to you don't have to do anything with separators um, unless you have uh, some different setup over here but like I said this is simple we're trying to do it the easiest way possible so you don't have to worry about separators right now for your cover you will select your file and it will come up here and formatting so in formatting we don't have a title we don't have a level one because we don't have a folder we're gonna go in here to um, this level because it's our first level and do 
text and then we're going to do section layout. Um, this you can choose if you want words capitalized at the beginning of your chapter. We're not going to do that. So we're going to do no paragraph spacing. We're going to do one line spacing. And then we're going to take our indention down to 25, which I think looks a little better when you start reading the ebook. So now we look and we see we have single spaced. We have the 25 point 25 uh, indent. Uh, title adjustments we don't need to mess with. Layout we don't need to mess with. Transformations. Transformations. Um, you can basically unclick all these. Uh, if you've done in Word where you have smart quotes, you want to keep those. You don't want double hyphens. You don't want triple periods and you want to leave your italics. So uncheck convert italics to underline. This will leave everything the way it is in your document. You don't need any HTML settings. You don't need replacements and all this stuff is just different things. You can do the metadata um, by saying it's the watch, putting your name in here, doing all this stuff. You can do this. It's not necessary, but you can do it if you want it. Then just make sure that you have the Kindle gen set up. So, now we're going to say compile. We're going to compile it and save it to desktop as a Mobi file. Okay. Now I'm going to minimize my Scrivener file. I'm going to bring my Kindle folder over here and drop. This is our file now. Simple compile video in Mobi format. So we're going to drop that into our Kindle file and your Kindle file can be anywhere. Mine just happens to be uh, on my desktop. We'll open up that book and Kindle opens and here is our ebook. So we can see the table of contents. We see our cover our table of contents which gives us the title page or you can look at the table of contents here and we'll click through so we have the dedication we have the first chapter we have all the subsequent chapters our author's note and all these links work um, and so that's our ebook and that's done. That is ready to upload to Amazon. Um, just like that. I mean, it's it's that simple. This is what it will look like on a Kindle when you open up and read it. It's going to look just like this, uh, or however way you have your your Kindle set up. Very easy to do. Very simple. If you don't like writing in Scrivener, because there is a lot going on in Scrivener, um, this is a very simple compile option for you um, to create that uh, Mobi file. Now the same thing goes for EPUB. Like I said, you can select EPUB, this Kindle Gen disappears, and everything we just did is exactly the same. We can compile, we'll say the same thing. And then we have our ebook, our EPUB, which we open up in uh, iTunes. And this is our EPUB that would work in any ebook publisher. We're talking about Nook or Kobo or whatever. Anything that needs an ebook or an EPUB format, this will work. And it's done. There's no other extra formatting. Um, there's no getting another program to convert your files or anything like that. It's done. All you have to do is upload it to the site and you're finished. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something and definitely come back for future videos and we'll learn more about Scrivener and uh, all the different things that it can do in the program. So thanks a lot and have a good day. Take it easy.